16 split tests that can boost conversions. Unless you are relatively new to marketing, I'm sure that you already know that split testing is one of the things that can make a big difference in sales page and squeeze page conversions. By split testing to know what converts best, you get more sales and more subscribers from the same number of visitors you are getting now. This means you will be making more with less effort. However, there are factors that you need to test, starting with the headline. Here are things that you need to test that will tremendously boost your conversion rates. Number one, the headline. This one is the most important factor you will need to test, but most marketers don't bother testing it. And for those who do test headlines, they are not sure how to go about it, but here are some tips that you can use. Make your headline about the big benefit of what it is that you are selling, rather than features. Instead of saying you are offering a book on weight loss, tell them how they can lose weight easily. How you can lose weight with a simple technique. Next, be specific. Rather than telling them that they can lose weight, specify how much they can lose and the amount of time that it will take. How you can lose 20 pounds in 20 days with the simple technique. Next, make the benefit easy to achieve. How you can lose 20 pounds in 20 days with a simple technique while eating what you like. Next, use factual statements. A private Harvard study proves that you can lose 20 pounds in 20 days while eating what you like with this simple technique. And lastly, consider adding a type of flair to your headline. For instance, Private Harvard study makes a shocking discovery. One simple trick can help you lose 20 pounds in 20 days while eating what you like. And please note that these headlines are for demonstration purposes only, and your headlines should suit your content. Number two, test the meaning, not just the wording of the headline. A slight change in wording may not yield any significant results, but a slight change in the message can. For instance, you may need to test with X product makes you healthier and less likely to become sick. X product helps you lose weight and have more energy. And X product makes you look sexy enough to attract many men or women. You may need to test your messages with all three headlines, along with a fourth one that incorporates all three headlines. You may find out that the results vary widely. Number three. Test your tagline. A tagline is a line appearing under your headline, and often it is read as many times as the headline. Ask yourself whether your tagline is enticing people to read the first paragraph of your message or not. Is it positioning your product correctly? Next, and number four, test your copy's body, subheads, and bullet points. When writing your copy, use straightforward language as though you are speaking to someone. Test your tone and how you present your copy. Test with more bullets fewer bullets, and also test the type of bullets used. Number five, test your video. Add a video to one page and on another page, don't use one, and see how the results of both compare. Also, test one video against several. Number six, test your offer. The number of products or services in your offer can make a difference. Test with more of them and less of them, factoring in the price difference to see the difference in the results. Test things that change value, for instance, 10 short videos versus 5 videos of twice the length. Test shorter and longer time commitments as well. Number 7. Test prices. If it's a squeeze page, your price should be free. However, you can test the wording that you use to tell your visitors that it's free. If it is a sales page, test products with higher and lower prices. Sometimes you can get fewer sales for products priced high, which results in more revenue. Also, test with a small price change, such as $9.99 versus $8.99. Number eight, test bonuses. This is a major decision influencer. Sometimes a change in bonuses won't affect conversions, while other times removing or adding a bonus can skyrocket sales. Number nine, test choices. If you have several choices, consider testing all of them. Sometimes choose one among these options will make more sales than when there is no choice. Pricing your choices correctly can also help increase sales. For instance, one version priced at $27 and a much better version priced at $57 can result in more sales. Number 10, test prices more often. You can test by offering a $1 trial, buy now, pay later, buy one, get one free, or pay in installments. Number 11, test testimonials. This one may sound strange, but testimonials always work. However, vague or irrelevant testimonials don't work. In fact, they can hurt your sales. Testimonial location can be a huge difference too. Do you place your testimonials at the bottom of the page or high up on the page? The location of your testimonial is an influential factor. Test with several locations. Number 12, test buy buttons. 
Here you will be testing buy buttons in terms of appearance, color, and size, as well as their locations and words written on the button. You can test with various words such as buy now, buy, grab your copy, subscribe, sign me up, etc. Number 13. Test your guarantee. Offer the best guarantee that suits your product and then ask yourself how you can make it better. Test with several guarantee times to see which one works best. Number 14. Test all the things that are not copy. These include product images, pictures, the colors, the graphics, the background, etc. Incorporate several pictures in your copy and test that too. Number 15. Test your urgency factor. Test with limited price, limited amounts. You can use phrases such as offer ends Friday, etc. Test the reason you make your offer limited to a specific period. And number 16, test the product. In case you are testing a free offer in exchange for contact information, test with various products you are offering for free. Some products work better when compared to others. It's true, you need to test a lot of things, but don't pressure yourself because you don't have to test everything at once. Think of it as an ongoing process, one that you can do as a hobby to make you a considerable amount of money without investing and in getting extra traffic.